This is the Gary V Audio Experience. Why don't you do more flipping when you follow careful? Like I always thought the Uber Lyft driver and flip combo combo yeah. was a monster. Was yeah. a fucking monster because you're naturally yeah. driving around anyway. Yeah. Like, Plus, like, you could pitch to your passengers if they have anything they want to get rid of. You well, know. that's that's taking it a little far, Jimmy. But but just being on the road at all times puts you in play to finding random closeouts from oh, stores, yeah. Yeah. rolling up on a garage sale. Do you just not like it, or is it hard? Like, I, why don't you do more flipping? Is my question. In a world where I think you could clean up because you have the knowledge. I don't know. I I don't know exactly okay. why it is. I I, I mean. I'm, I'm ashamed to say I think a little bit of it's it might laziness. be laziness, but um, actually, let's can we stay? On I don't this? know. I mean, I'm not. Uh, super Jimmy, I'm gonna, into, I'm gonna lean into uh, this because I want to yeah. bring value to everybody listening. Yeah, I this is gonna f- actually probably confuse some people. I actually don't spend a lot of time on laziness, right? Actually, even think about it, I don't talk about it, right? You mean in your content? Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, my content is a manifestation of what's in my mind. So not even in my own mind. When I hear that, I appreciate why you say it. But it's so funny. It's funny how that just went through my mind. I actually think being lazy is a good thing. Let me explain. This is gonna be an interesting moment. Yeah, no, uh, you're freaking out, right? Well, I was gonna say, isn't like stop watching Netflix kind of like related to laziness? But- stop watching Netflix is under the context of stop using something to escape your real life if you don't realize you're trying to escape your real life. Don't use Netflix or watching the New York, let's get very much into clarification on this episode. I watch the Jets for four hours on Sundays. I do that because it allows me to escape and like it gives me balance to my insanity, but I don't watch the Jets on Sunday to get away from the fact that I hate my job and instead of doing something like for my job, I'm gonna use this because Netflix is a seven day a week thing. 2K and Fortnite is a seven day a week thing. And in, in even sports, people that watch the Yankees and the Mets and the Knicks and the Jets the way I watch the Jets. That's why football worked for me, one day a week. you know, Some people use entertainment as a reset and a balance to their other life, which is work, family. And then other people use con- uh, you know, escapism as a way to just get by because they hate their life and it's the way for them not to have to think about it, right? Laziness has my attention because I think if you're lazy, you're actually giving yourself an indication that you don't like it. So I think laziness you don't like what? Whatever the task at hand. For you, you just prop, I, you'll appreciate this, and I think you can see it in Trash Talk. I mean, I'm never, D-Rock will tell you, who hangs out with me a lot, that between Trash Talk and the baseball card show in Chicago, he's never seen me happier. I get an incredible thrill, deep, inherent happiness from getting into a car on a 6 a.m. on a Saturday and going to find something to buy for three bucks and sell for a hundred. This is not about the cliche shit that people say in my comments of like, you didn't make that much money, it was the gas, you know, it's not all those things, I love it. School, I hate it. I am lazy around housework, around logistics. I think quote unquote laziness can have a more thoughtful conversation of actually, is it laziness or are you showing yourself that you don't like that thing and it becomes a mechanism to self-awareness? I think it's that. I me, think it's me that, too. You don't, that you don't like that thing, I think. Me too. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you're lazy. And I think a little bit of the You're, you're not lazy. I think a you're little. You're fucking, gr- I apologize, but I, I want to give you a compliment. Yeah. You're driving around hardcore grinding, yeah. lifting, you're not lazy. You just don't get the same thrill yeah. or enjoyment. And I think a little bit of it is what it is, D-Rock, is I think we need to stop apologizing for being lazy, all of us, which is probably subconsciously why I don't talk about it, and we need to use it as an indicator of I don't like that thing, this job, this relationship, this school, this startup, and then use it as a starting point to try something else on the side that eventually can become your thing and you can stop doing that thing that you're quote unquote lazy So about. this may sound Go weird ahead, to you, but no, I, I, was, so. I was just thinking of it as you were talking. I think a little bit of it too for me, like. Because I do like the flip stuff on eBay. Like, I do enjoy it when I do it. I think a little bit of it for me is also the economics of it. You know, where I'm thinking like, okay, if I'm out doing this, 
it's and taking it's, away from me doing that. The analytical side of me I that, like that. that prevents me from doing anything for four fucking years. Like, the like analytical that. side of me thinks, like, well, if I'm garage sailing from six to eight, like, how much could I have made with Uber and Lyft? No, no. That's you know? least, by the way, that's exactly right. Right. And then in the comments of this, wherever that may be. And I'm one of those cynical people. When you when when you first got onto garage sailing, I was like, yeah, but the gas and the eBay fees <laughs> and this, the boxes and you know and, and then my and girlfriends and like, you ain't gonna <laughs> store the shit here, like, you know. <laughs> um that not that not that she would say that. <laughs>